occurred just occurred to me now certain spiritual teachers will talk about the, the decision and it bothers me for the oh it froze what happened it bothers me for the the sense that they do it to mainly inspire guilt this came to my attention. Uh, certain teachers will do it, and they're usually women. And uh, I don't need to name names, but Joanna Burkhart, as well as Jayla Starr, both of them. I've heard them say things like, well, that's their decision. And they do it in like this catty way. So, Yes, we have spiritual teachers, but we also should be black pill aware, MGTOW aware, and know about female nature because it affects the way they teach. And I'm aware that in the spiritual community, it's, it's few and far between that you'll find a male spiritual teacher, so those are coveted and even they must go through a rigorous process a uh, shit test if you will feel test and this notion of well that's your decision I made a video on it earlier about it being a desire for control the same thing with choice is it was your choice to come into this world at this time and the other, I just watched one today about how your death is not random. This was a person who had experienced a near-death experience. And I think it's great. I think it's great that they want to have a near-death experience and then come back and talk to about it. They said, it turns out my mission was not complete. But it's an obsession with control. It's, it's not allowing for mystery in the world. And... By just saying that, well, that's your choice. <sighs> I don't know. To me, it always feels like it's inspiring guilt. Choice in general, in real life. The notion that it's your choice. And we have to respect your free will choice. Guys, I have to respect your free will choice. Um, it's, it's invalid. At least from my angle. It's not valid. We are not... At no point in time have we been able to make choices that were informed we've been misinformed and uh, so these teachers are usually older obviously all the teachers are older they got to be at least 40 so maybe that has something to do with it like they think that they have all the information to make proper choices or that other people have enough information to make proper choices I'm friends with people who can't make any choices because they're working with a different set of facts so is that their choice i know people are work we're doing the best with where we are and what we can but i guess it just came to my attention like they're trying to inspire guilt and it's an egoistic measure they're like and that's their choice. It's they do that type of thing to make themselves feel better about what they've done in their life. It's like a pat on the back. It's like I'm accomplished. I'm so I'm so glad I'm not where they are. I'm so glad I'm not confused as them. And that is a blind spot and it makes more blind spots. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't make the same choice as they did. Oh, but that's their choice. I gotta respect their choice. Oh, I'm so glad I'm in. Oh, it's like, 
It's an ego boost that's disguised as like a spiritual lesson. Which is really, really fucked up. It's really fucked up. It's really fucked up. I wish you could understand what you're doing. Okay, that's it.